Hi everybody, Jo here. How are you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Thanks for joining me again today and I hope this week started well for you. Now today I thought I wanted to share quite a fun design. I quite like having fun designs. I think sometimes, you know, we just need a bit of humour. And um, especially, as, you know, I know some of you are struggling with various things at the minute, health problems and, and family issues. So sometimes I think we need a, a, a bit of humour in our crafting. And what I've done is I've completed my calendar page for July. But I'm well aware that some of you missed out on our limited um, run of calendars. And so what I thought I'd do is I'd create it ready to go on a card so that those of you who have the calendars can create the design and those of you that haven't can pop it on a card or in your scrapbook. And this design came up really from a couple of things. One, I wanted to use a fabulous new owl. Obviously, this is ginger. But also, when I looked, I had the cheeky mice at the bottom of the calendar page. Now, when I was demonstrating the other weekend at Lavinia, I said, I couldn't believe when I was demonstrating using the forest flowers here. And I did say to a couple of the ladies, I can't believe nobody stamps them and puts an owl on. Because I said, I'm dying to do that. And one lady suggested, well, why don't you do it on one of your YouTubes? So hence, I listen and I have done. But because we have, as I say, the cheeky mice here, I just had to have them dangling. And also, I think Ginger looks as though, looking as if to say, what on earth are you doing dangling there, Mr Cheeky Mouse? So anyway, so should you wish to join in with your calendar page, that's what we're going to create. And as I say today, so I'm going to actually stand my calendar page up there, but this could be interesting. You know, my craft desk isn't very big, so it could end up falling over. So what I've done is I've got a piece of multifarious card from my pack here. So I'm going to use one of the A5 pieces and I think that's probably, I'm going to do it in portrait and I think that's possibly a good size for this design. But as I say, it could be interesting. We could see. Nothing like tempting, it is the live. <laughs> so I've got myself some copy paper. Now I've already popped a Sharpie line round. And again, for those new ladies, all I do for that is I use a piece of kitchen towel to hold on to. And you can use a black Sharpie, a black, um, any of you, your black marker pens. And I just hold it down and run my pen along. But I make sure, I like to do this at the beginning because if I do it at the end, my pen can whiz across my work and that's just what it's like for me. So I'm going to start first and I'm going to stamp one of the lovely forest flowers. Now there are two in this collection, a large and a small. But I need to make sure I've got enough room to put our lovely ginger on top. So I'm thinking maybe they're possibly halfway-ish. And I'm going to use black. So we're using the, the Versafine Claire, the Nocturne. Such a beautiful stamp, this. And again, nice lot of ink. So I'm thinking if that's my design, we'll go possibly there. And again, there's quite a lot of almost silhouette area on this stamp. So I really want to let that ink soak into the card. It's a multifarious, but even so, I want to let it soak in so that I get a lovely stamped image. And that just means holding it down for a little while, not lifting it up too quickly. Now look at that, it's beautiful. Obviously, this is the way <laughs> I think it's intended forest flower you could have it hanging down now to me that would make a beautiful lantern as in a hanging light and we could put the fairies dancing underneath and again you could have it that way or that way such a versatile stamp so we'll come in with so there's a smaller one as well look so we'll come in with the smaller one as well again nice light tapping And I'm thinking we'll pop this one, say, here. 
and again just let that ink soak into the card so i hope you're having a good week i hope you enjoyed all the videos that are on from the fairy festival the other weekend it was a fabulous event now if you missed any of them or you were busy working family whatever just pop back and have a look it's always lovely to go back and look at past youtubes right ginger now we're gonna pop pop in there look so just going to ink him up and again i'm going to use black and this again you could use brown looks lovely in brown on this occasion i'm just going for my black versa fine clair And I'm just going to position, just want to position his feet. So, and I'm just, I'm standing right over my work so I can see through his feet and just put them on there. So hopefully he's standing. Well, I say hopefully. If not, you'll be shouting at me, won't you? Saying, oh, you've missed a bit. But do you know what? If I do, I've got a fabulous black fine liner pen, which gets me out of so many holes. <laughs> And the good thing is now we do the brown fine liner pens so that when I'm stamping in brown, if I miss him, I can add extra extra fe feathers or longer feet or hmm, widen the um, the flower. Always ways round it. And again, there's so much detail in this stamp. So I'm just making sure that I get a lovely image. Lift that off. Look at that. And I've got to be honest, I just think that's beautiful. Now this you could almost leave in black and white. I love to do make designs that at any point you could you could leave them. So I'm going to come in with my two mice. This is Tilly and Tango. And I'm just thinking, well, have I might even just use Tango for this one actually. Sorry, Tilly, I might not use you for this. I don't want to overdo it with this being a card. I might even write on it, I'm just hanging around. Just ink him up. Right. Now I'm thinking you're going to go just there. I think with the placing, with this size of card, I think I am just going to possibly stick with, with Tango. Again, he's a silhouette, so I'm just going to give him a minute to let that ink soak in. And then we'll just have a blot. Again, if you remember, you versify and clear, slower drying ink. So you just want to let it... You don't want to smudge it, you see. So I'm just blotting it with a copy of paper. And then we'll draw, we'll put a little... And just draw a freehand look and we'll put a little thread there. Don't think too much about it. And he's just swinging, look. I love the expression. What on earth are you doing there, mister? So I want to add a, a bit of a, a highlight, a bit of a spotlight. So we'll use the moon mask for this. And the large one, look, is just the perfect size. So I'm going to come in with my graphite ink and I'm just going to turn this sideways just because it's easier for me. Just want to check you can see. Must admit it's a very dark day here today. It's throwing it down so I'm hoping you can see okay. Now my graphite, I've got a brush that I use for my graphite ink and I always dab it off on the lid. Just start that blending process. And then we'll just go on the mask and then work your way round back on the lid on the mask just move my thumb again on the lid it just if it just it just keeps nudging slightly but that doesn't matter Give it a nice and sometimes it looks as though you haven't got much but look if i move it away you can see you have 
So I'll pop that back. That's the funny thing with grey. Often it looks like there's nothing there. Now I want a little bit further across the card, but I'm going to just always work on the mask area first. And then when I've got less ink, I'm just going to move across the card. And that way it's just more blended. So again, although I want down here, look, just going to, when I've got less ink, move around here. And then we'll do that once more just to add some down here. So I'll come off there and then work my way down. And then lastly, I'm thinking just in this corner. And if I leave an area around our cheeky mouse, it'll highlight him. So in the lid, round the corner, same with this corner. Right, let's have a look. Now the grey probably won't show up. If I just bring this a little bit closer. I don't want it too dark. I'm happy with that, so I'll just pop the lid on. I did think in the beginning I was going to use Midnight Blue, but I just thought that might be too dark. But I think it would look quite nice with that. Again, choices, choices. So I'm just wiping Mr Inky Binkies out. I'm just going to wipe my circle mask and pop it away. And I'm just going to add some of the words, these beautiful... Um, wise owl words and again I've put an arrow just so I know which way up they are and for this I'm going to use the um, morning mist the versifying Claire I'm just going to do a couple first generation but the majority second now I'm turning mine upside down but that's fine because I'm going to turn this upside down and I want a dark one there, but then lighter and lighter up here. And then just at the top we'll have darker. And I'm going to wink up again. And then just come in with a darker one there. Need to wink up. Because I've taken a little bit off, you see how you get the second isn't always, that's better, I want it even. So I want a second generation but right across there. I'll just have a little across the top, there we go. So I like that, just all down that side and this side's quite clear, keeping that sort of white space. So I'll just give that another blot. The hardest bit here is finding a clean piece of copy paper to blot it with. And then we can add some colour. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> so, to add some colour, I'm going to come in with these fabulous clean colour pens. Now, these are water-based pens from Curataki. And, got to be honest, I've been using them for years. They are fabulous. Um, for me, it's just a great, almost cheats way of adding um, colour. And they've got a beautiful brush nib look. So I'm just going to add a little bit of colour on the owl. And again, I'm going straight on and we'll add some yellow. Just round. like that and then I'm going to come in with some orange and do my next feather in the orange but then just go in at the base of the yellow and then the next one just going to add a little bit of red but then go in at the base of the orange and then that one I'm going to blend I'm just going to go back with that orange and blend that red and the beauty of it is you can blend them tip to tip you can blend the colors and this won't affect so my orange pen here will be fine even though I've gone over the red and blended it now this is on um multifarious card as I said and they blend beautifully but you can um drag the colour out which is fabulous and there'll be lots of workshops on that soon and videos and things um 
but that works better in my opinion on the watercolour card. So I'm just dragging it a little bit on here. So let's come in with the, the orange and just do the next layer round his eyes. And then we'll come in with the red just to finish off round here. And for me, it's lovely and quick, but very enjoyable. And you get such lovely, vibrant results. So we'll do his tummy, just so we've got some sort of yellow and orange in the rest of his body. So where I've got shadow sort of around here, look, we'll put some of the red first. Just at the base here and then around here be more at the top and then what I'm going to do is put some yellow in the middle and then come in with orange and actually blend that into the red and it's lovely you can see how quick I can blend that so I'm going back over the red as I'm going now with this orange, I'm just going to do colour his feet while I'm here. My goodness, he's got big claws here, Mr. Owl. And then come back in. Going over that between the yellow and the orange. Just blend it all out. Lovely. So I'm thinking for the rest, I'm going to come in with some blues. So I'm just going to get a couple of my, my blue pens and just for speed I'm going to take the lids off. Now what I'm thinking is where I've got my darkest blue, I'm just going to come in with my darker blue and add just a couple of bits of shading in here on this one. I'm going to make quite a statement and we're going to have it quite dark around his face look. And I'm just using the edge of the pen just to go all the way around. And on the top here, look, it's lovely. These are all hand-drawn by Tracy and she's given us some beautiful areas where you can see. She, I mean, the detail is just amazing. So where we've got some darker bits, just where we'll have a bit of shade under some of the, the feathers, we'll add some, some of this blue. Right, and then to blend it out, I'm just going to come in with a darker blue, but it's lighter than the one I first used. And again, I'm just following that line round there. And then I'm going to come in with a, a lighter blue again. And again, you'll find a way. There are lots of, as I've said before, you know, I'm not a colourist at all. There are some fabulous people that know all about colour and how to colour. I'm just a crafter and I like to come up with ways of getting, for me, I think results that look good, but don't take me forever. I mean, it might be that you actually want to spend the afternoon taking your time and colouring these owls, which is fabulous. Um, but I'm aware that not everybody can do that. So for me, these pens, so I'm just going over, not all of it, because my last thing is I've got this lovely light blue and this is the one I'm going to go over the whole area. And what this will do is because the other colour hasn't dry yet, dried, sorry, it will drag the ink and blend it. I'm just going to pick a bit on my tip, look at that colour. Just want to bring a little bit darker. So tip to tip, I'll just bring it in. And we'll just blend. So we'll still keep those dark areas. But I just love the effect that you get. And it doesn't take an awful lot of... I mean, I've got to be honest, I think that looks stunning. And what you can do is just have a look and maybe you need, you know, you can tweak it a little bit. Maybe we need a little bit. What often looks nice is I'm just going to bring a little bit of lilac in. 
and I just think the lilac just adds a nice tone to the blue. But again, you'll find your own way, you'll find the colours that you like. But I do like just bringing that and again, can blend it over. It's fine with my brush nib. So I'm going to call him done and I'm going to colour the flower now. So I'm going to use the same sort of technique, my darker colour at the base. And again, it will be along that edge, wouldn't it? And then I'll come in with my, my next blue and add a little bit more. So normally I work in threes, but because there's four of these blues that I like, I'm using four. So with this one, I'm just mixing lovely blend of those blues so that then when I come to the lighter one, I'm going to go over all of them. Just blend. As I say, they blend beautifully with water on watercolour card, but I'm just using the actual pens to blend the colours. Just want a pop of that middle blue. And again, you can adjust it as to how much of which blue you would like. Yeah, I like that. So I'm thinking with this one that I may do it in my yellows. On my original look, I had purple, I bought purples in there and blue for that one. But that's the beauty of, you know, when we do these designs, that we can mix and match things. We can see, you know, what we feel like on the day. All right, so we'll take those lids off as well. And I'll do the same here. I'll come in with my red. And then we'll go orange. Not that these are my favourite colours, of course. And again, I'm going over the red because that'll blend that red into the orange. And then yellow at the end. And then back over. And blend those. And I'm just going to turn it that way. Just want to brighten up that area there. And again, you can see. In but I think for, for speed colouring for me... I mean, those of you that are colour experts, but for me, I'm, I'm happy with that. I think, I think that's lovely. So we just need a couple more things. Don't need a lot more. We can bring in our white Posca and we can add some highlights and go over the white areas. So maybe little bits of white to his tummy. And a few little bits on the flowers. But also on the flowers, I've got some of my sparkly posters. And I'm going to add some blue sparkle just in with those white dots on the blue. And we'll add some, give them a good shake, some yellow on the yellow. And then to make the owl sparkle, I'm going to bring in my wink of Stella which is sparkle in a brush. Now, when you get it, there's a little black sort of washer here and you take that off and then screw the applicator together, almost like the brush nib. And what happens is all the fluid is in here and lovely glittery, gorgeous fluid is in here. And you literally squeeze this bit gently, very gently, until you see the lovely coloured glittered liquid in here. And then once it's there, you can then brush it on. And if I show you, it works beautiful on top of my clean colour pens. So if I just do that area there, and I'm not sure if you can pick up on that sparkle. This is where I need a cameraman, isn't it? So, well, sparkle is tummy. And as you can see, the colours aren't running. I'm going to do my best to see. Oh, there we go. Can you see that sparkle? I'm hoping so. So you can see it here, look, a bit here. And it just adds that lovely bit of glittery sparkle. 
So I shall, and again with it being a brush nib, it's just getting the sparkle in the right place. And as you can see, I'm not contaminating that brush nib look. I've gone from my blue flowers to my lovely yellow flowers. And it just adds that lovely sparkle. So a couple of highlights will just on his claws there, a little bit on the flowers, a little bit on his nose and ear. And then lastly, I'm going to leave this one without a sentiment. On my original one look, we popped Hoot on, on my calendar page. But I'm thinking for this, I may leave this without a sentiment. Although I quite like the word owl. So again, I'm going to change my mind. And we're going to pop the word owl on it. I tend to change my mind a lot, don't I? But I'm sure you're the same. Because what I'm thinking... Oh, that's grey. I need the black. What I'm thinking is, if I stamp the word owl and then I want a sentiment such as the birthday wishes then I can still add that, can't I? So I'm just going to pop that there. And then, like I say, depending what I want the card for, it could be a new home card, it could be a happy birthday. And lastly, I'm going to add some lovely blue splats. Now, again, we discussed... I have discovered we have a lovely sweet pot on the Posca. And this area here is the bit where when you tap it, you get perfect splats. So if you're struggling, that's the bit you need to aim for. And what happens is when you get that area, your Posca behaves. That's my theory anyway. So it's our Posca sweet spot and we're just, that's the bit to tap and it will behave beautifully. So we're not getting them all over. Just round Ginger's head and a few over there. I'm going to call that a day. And I think that looks so bright, so vibrant. So when that's on a card blank, I think that'll be beautiful. And as I say, for me, I'm thinking that can be a birthday card, could be a get well card. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And I'll bring the calendar page in as well. Now, I'm not sure how much I can get in because, obviously, well, I think you might have got a little bit of that sparkle with the wink of Stella. And also with the wink of spell and Stella, I teach myself at the weekend, look, you can get refills a pack with the wink of Stella and the two refills. And again, they're on our website. So I did treat myself to one of those as well. So I'm hoping that gave you some ideas, but also I'm hoping you just enjoyed spending time with me. Maybe having that brew and cheeky biscuit, did you? Or is it in an evening? I know a few of you have messaged me and said you tend to have a glass of wine or a sneaky gin and tonic while you're watching. So anyway, if you are, cheers. Might be hot chocolate if you've got marshmallows. Anyway, you take care and I'll see you again tomorrow night. Pop back. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.